and the Emmy goes to CBS Evening News, Ramadi on the front line. As the Marines start to head out, they pass these Iraqi men who they believe must know if an attack is coming, but they offer no warning. On the final approach to the base, they find the shopkeepers have fled, their goods still on display. Then it begins. Out of nowhere, the first shot slams into a Marine. Thank you very much to everybody who's here tonight and to the Emmys. I think Jeff and I both feel we talked about this before, and if we were to win it, we wanted you to know that this award does not belong to us. It belongs to the Marines that fought for three and a half years in Ramadi to hold one strip of road and never went anywhere. And if you were to take a map of Iraq before the battle for Baghdad began, more American blood is soaked into the earth of Ram around Ramadi than any other place in the country. And when we went to cover this story, just Jeff and I, he wasn't actually working for CBS Evening News, he was working for 60 Minutes. And nobody knew what we were gonna do, nobody assigned us, nobody sent us. In fact, after about two and a half weeks of radio silence, I was in a fair amount of trouble when I finally called in. But I believed in covering this story because day after day we would sit in Baghdad and get press releases about the deaths of American Marines and soldiers in Ramadi and have no way to show what they were living through. And a lot is known about how this war is covered and in a short news piece, you never get to say everything. But I wanna leave you with one image of what our time in Ramadi was like. When we went there, the whole city was awash with sewage. There was nothing left of the infrastructure. We waded through sewage every day, sometimes literally up to our waists. We had no water to wash or food to eat, and those are the conditions in which the Marines are working every single day. It was so dangerous that the Army refused to supply them downtown. So most of them lived on what they had sent over from home, from their families and from their friends. And Jeff and I were in the kitchen the one day with the Marines, we were talking, and one of them threw away a few pieces of moldy bread, and another kid got up from the table and went and picked the bread out of the trash and said, don't do that, man, we can still eat this. And that is not something that most of the United States of America understand about how the US military sometimes has to fight this war. And when I came back from Ramadi to edit these pieces in New York, I just looked around me like I was on an alien planet, because there's no way you can ever explain what it's really like for the guys they're fighting it, no matter what you think about the war, the suffering on all sides is really a terrible thing to see. Thank you very much.